Hi guys, uh, this is Anne and today I'm going to be talking about uh, the topic here is written Anxiety, Depression, Mood Swings and Emotional uh, Struggles by Medical Medium and this is the guy, he's called Anthony Williams. He said something that resonated with me because I come from a family that has suffered from depression. I've lost a loved one because of depression and the things he said made me feel like crying seriously made me feel like crying because he talked about when people are depressed or they have anxiety, they are going through mood swings. We, we normally don't understand, we just think this, uh, she's just a lunatic or something like that. And I wrote some notes and just so that it's registered that I'm able to share to people and so that they can also uh, benefit from this because he, he also talks about just sharing because he's not really telling you anything the only thing he's telling you is read the information that he's written so that you understand why people get depression and all that so i've tried to rack my brain on how i'm going to present this but i just said let's just do it whatever we we'll click on it and be attracted to the information that's fine but the real reason why we are depressed he says no one wants to be depressed you know the way you tell someone wake up do this do that and you, you don't realize why they are not doing it. You you are like, this one is lazy. Just go do your work. Just go exercise. Just take a break. Stop just sitting in the house and doing nothing. I never understood that. And, and I'm lucky enough, I uh, one of the people who is depressed, depressed in my life is still alive, which is awesome. And the other obviously died from overdose. But the thing is, the doctors don't actually know what's wrong with you. Some will tell you it's just... Uh, hormonal imbalance some will tell you that you need to go and see a psychiatrist and what the psychiatrist is going to do they're going to prescribe for you they're going to dis prescribe for you antidepressants which one of my family members is using i don't want to say which is because it might bring and i've not shared this information with her yet so when she's comfortable for me to share with the information i'll let you know okay <clears throat> so they talked about the way someone doesn't want to go and exercise, doesn't want to come out of the house. The person is constantly in their house. They don't want even to go for, for things like a wedding or, or just a gathering, a family gathering. She doesn't want to do it. She doesn't want to exercise. She doesn't want to do anything. She just wants to stay in her house. That's it. And when he said that, I was like, oh my God. And then you're there thinking, what's wrong with this person? person why can they they're just lazy they just don't want to do that you know then another situation is also bipolar i also know someone who has bipolar he talks about the way the mood the moods of the person one time the person is has anger spells the next person he, the next time he's he, he he doesn't know what's wrong with him you know uh, i have notes i wrote here um he has anger spells the next time he doesn't even know what's what's going on i'm like what anyway I'll, I'll review that and come back to it so we're just going to go to a part i first want you to hear what he says uh, i recorded i hope i don't take too long with this and that is around there so just listen Oops. to have a diagnosis such as like bipolar or any other kind of diagnosis that, that doctors just don't understand because they're not given the right tools for the medical industry and and so the deal is is this is nobody wants these things we want to be happy we want to be peaceful we want to be able to get through our life somebody said yes yeah, such an important topic thank you anthony it truly is it really is an important topic <clears throat> i can't say enough about it and so here's the deal you know, we want to feel good. We don't want to be under all this stress. We don't want to be under all the anxious, anxiousness. We don't want the anxiety and depression. Because when we do, we truly suffer because it's, un it's unreal how people walk around with the anxiety they have. It can stop them from working, stop their career, stop them from functioning, stop them from being able to do the things they want to do. Depression can keep people just stuck inside their house. It can keep them 
you know, doubting themselves, anxiety and depression, and all these other different emotional diagnoses we can get, they, they can be soul breaking, spirit breaking. They can, we can doubt ourselves. We can start thinking we're, it's who we are. We can start thinking we're bad people. We can start thinking maybe it's all in our head. We can start thinking all these things are our real reasons why we have these struggles. They're okay. I just wanted to, to say that's the part. That's the part. You don't understand that they don't want to be that way. It's not a laziness or anything. There is a real cause to it. And then he, he tells us what it is, which I'll just share a brief uh, part of it because I'm seeing as if I might take way too long <laughs> discussing this. Just give you a snip, uh, a, a, a small part of it. And then the, this video, I'll put a link to it down in the description. So if you are interested in this, uh, just uh, go uh, re, um, listen to it. And if you'd like to share my video with the people you think might get help from this, that's awesome. If not, share his, this this video that I'll put the link down below for. And yeah, uh, it's very important. Okay. I'll go to just a small part where he talks something else and I thought it was very important. And sometimes it's just always there and underlying and it's just, it's there every single day. And then sometimes it comes out of nowhere. Some people have anxiety where it just comes out of nowhere. And sorry, now there he's talking about the way sometimes you just get depressed out of nowhere. Everything in your life is going well. There's nothing wrong. You just you just get depressed. You just wonder what's wrong. My life is good. I'm not stressed. Nothing. You just get depressed. He also gives an example where a person gets depressed just after having painted their house because of those toxic the toxic fumes from or the solvents in the paint that makes you depressed so the real cause he says for uh getting depression even bipolar because he gave an example of bipolar i thought oh my god that's like exact i think to someone who has bipolar because like sometimes the person is anxious sometimes the person is annoyed sometimes the person blames himself sometimes he's completely let me, let me read that part he said okay sometimes they're anxious sometimes they have uh, hunger spells they have guilty tremendous guilt they sometimes they hate themselves sometimes they feel that there's something wrong with them sometimes they feel broken and all this it just moods that come sometimes up sometimes down and they don't understand what is wrong it is they have heavy um, uh, heavy metals heavy toxic me metals they have metals in their system so those metals they, they what happens to the metals when they go into the brain they they age they rust they decay then they oxidize so when they oxidize they cause that and the funniest thing is not only them have this uh, 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 toxic metals we all have them it's just the degree of which one has them and where exactly they are in the body so they may they mainly they're in the body they're in their brain and they're in the liver and when they become too much they spread all all over the body i have ever felt sometimes you just feel you're in a very very bad mood you're just very moody it's because the toxic metals are they have accumulated they are a bit too much in the system you're wondering what's wrong with me and just moody you just snap at people you just snap you uh, cranky all the time you have toxic metals and then he explains the way you can you can get uh, like things like he explains about celery juice what celery juice does it actually helps you feel happy it makes you to be happy it's not that just you take it once you have to take it at a continuous basis so he says that the celery juice stops metals from oxidizing and decaying and pulling pulling them out of the body he also includes the way you have to take a heavy metal detox smoothie that includes uh, celery, I think I'm looking at the wrong place, it includes celery, um, there is barley, ju barley juice powder, there is uh, blueberries, there is chlorina, there is uh, dulse, which is a seaweed, and uh, there is one I forgot it, barley juice, uh, blueberries, and blueberries. 
toast, you make into a smoothie, you put a banana, you put some water, you blend and you drink that. All that you get that information in the celery juice book and the liver detox. So there are also other things you also need, which you'll get the information from the celery book and the liver rescue. The liver rescue book is very important to get those on. So if you know someone who is suffering from mental issues, heavy metals, and he explains, I'll put a link to this video down so that you, you get to see it. So I'll just share a little bit more about what he says here. Mm, uh oh, have I just gone to another uh, video? Yep, I think I have. My internet is not so hot as you can see it is hanging but yes hopefully it's going to come nicely and I can show you the last part I wanted you to listen to about the kind of heavy metals he's talking about okay there you go all of a sudden you realize pretty quickly by your third doctor research and science let us down when you're not sick, you think research and science sewed it all up and you're wondering why your friend with a thyroid problem isn't better yet. You think it's their issue. You know, you wonder why somebody with anxiety or depression isn't better yet. You think it's them being a jerk or them being lazy or them being crazy or you just talk it up to with my friend is crazy. She's got this anxiety stuff. She just deals with all this stuff. My friend's crazy. She has a depression. She just deals with all this crap. Because when you're not sick with depression, and you're not sick with anxiety, and you're not struggling or anything, and you haven't been to 10 doctors, you think science and research has all the answers, and you think somebody should should be just be happy. You think they shouldn't have depression. It's incredible how it works. I see it every day. Or you'd be like, no, get in, get in the gym. Push those weights. Do that cardio for two hours. Get your butt off the couch. As if people wouldn't want to do that if they were feeling really good. It's incredible how it works. So let's talk back back. That yeah, just I like you know what? It's really it's really disheartening when you see what's going on out there. <clears throat> Somebody just said yes, exactly, so they understood what I was saying. Um, I'm honored you're listening, and I'm honored you're here. So thank you. Some people have a different toxic level, so they have a different brew. They have a little bit more mercury and less aluminum. They have mercury in their liver, more aluminum in the brain. Everybody has a different situation, and the metals are in different. Places and um, and they're in the different places in the brain, so it's really important to understand this. You know, viral variability counts too. Someone might have two varieties of viruses, one from one virus. They might have three viruses. They might have four. There's people out there that have a cytomegalovirus inside their liver. They got an HHV syndrome inside their liver. They got two EBVs. They got you know also some bacteria. They got other things, and they're struggling with chronic fatigue syndrome. That me. They're struggling with fibromyalgia, they're struggling with Hashimoto's thyroiditis, they're struggling with multiple sclerosis, they're struggling with all kinds. Okay, now I'll just link the video down below, then you'll see. So he talks about the way, as I had said, that they they have uh, more of the metals in them in, in their neurons, I think that's how he put it. And yes, and he says the way celery juice helps with that, it helps. Uh, stops the metals from uh, oxidizing and decaying and pulling them out of the brain and liver and then you are also uh, and then he also talks about the foods you can learn from that you shouldn't take so that it doesn't feed them heavy metals things like eggs and uh, gluten you're not supposed to eat that when you when you're trying to get rid of those things because those things they feed they feed the viruses and they feed the heavy metals so when you're eating that, you know, you're just feeding the wrong things in your body. And he's not saying that egg is bad. He, there's, a, there's a video where he explains, even he explains through the books. So you just get the celery book, get the liver rescue. It's on Amazon. I'll put links below for that if you're, re, if you're interested in such things. And you want to help a loved one uh, do that. And if also they are willing to listen, because sometimes you may tell people all this and they still don't want to, to listen to the information. So uh fully this reaches as many people as possible and yeah 
Uh, thanks for listening and you can subscribe for more videos. And bye.